Hi everyone, we are doing another quarantine video today. So today I'm going to show you guys how I just get ready even though I'm staying at home. But basically just getting myself ready a little bit so I just feel better and I feel like when you're like dressed out of your pajamas and stuff because when you're staying in all day it's easy to just wear a hoodie and sweatpants like all day but if you like get dressed up a little bit put a little makeup on you feel more productive and you just feel better I don't know and you look better so I don't do this every single day but maybe like half of the week so recently it's been warm in Ohio I've been putting my bathing suit on and tanning outside so I don't know if I'm a little bit not burnt but I don't know what's going on there. The sun has been shining and uh, it's supposed to rain every single day for like the next two weeks. So I'm literally going to be stuck indoors, which stinks. Okay, so first I like to change out of my PJs, which my PJs are either just like shorts, like PJ shorts, and like a hoodie or a sweatshirt, you know, something cozy. And I'll wear that like all day <laughs> and then change when I shower at night into more comfy clothes but if you wear like still comfy clothes but more like an outfit you just feel better this is what I'm wearing today I'm wearing just this shirt that I really really like it's from PacSun just a little gray crop top I like how it has like these little curly sleeves or whatever you want to call it so this is from PacSun I got this not too long ago on their website they have like really nice clothes i think paxa might be my favorite online shopping place right now along with abercrombie and i like pretty little thing that's where my sweatpants are from so i'm just wearing these black baggy sweatpants i have them rolled up one because i'm kind of short <laughs> i also have a pair in gray from this website i wore those the other day though so they're being washed. I do like the gray pair better though. I feel like they fit a little different. But yeah, so I'm just gonna wear this around the house. You know, some lazy bottom, but you know, like cute top. So since I haven't been tanning as often, my skin is a little bit blotchy. It's got some red dots. They're not even like pimples. It's just like splotchiness. And also you could see some of my scarring. It's kind of hard to see it on camera, but or those are like sunspots, age spots. <laughs> I got age spots already. I don't know, but when I'm tanner, you don't really notice all that. But I'm just going to do a light coat of foundation. So I'm using Kylie's primer. Do you guys like this primer? I don't know. I don't really watch makeup videos. So like I don't know what to use or what not to use. So currently right now, I'm just using this Estee Lauder foundation. And I'm the shade 3N2 wheat if anyone wants to get it but I know in my previous videos I always use a brush but I've, I've been sticking with the beauty blender I really like the beauty blender and in my last makeup video I showed you guys how my beauty blender was destroyed literally a big chunk just eaten out of it <laughs> I got a new one and I love these prints on at the marble from Target. Okay, so since I'm not tan right now, I think this might be a little bit darker for my face. Matches my arm. <laughs> well, it's way lighter than my arm, but like my neck looks really white. Yeah, I try to get a darker foundation so it matches my body a little bit. So then I just use the Estee Lauder powder. Just put a little bit of that on. And I forgot to do concealer. Mm. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that after I just did my powder, but whatever. So I've been seeing on TikTok, there's like a new way to um, contour or highlight your face with this concealer for like a more lifted foxy look, I guess you could say. So you just put it there and I've been doing that. It's like less concealer too, which I feel like is good because if you do too much, then it's like all cakey. So it's supposed to just make your eyes look more like upwards and awake and we want to look awake while we're just sitting in our house doing nothing while we're just sitting here playing animal crossing for 60 hours and there we have it like look how much more awake and better i look already 
I'm gonna just coat that with some powder. And voila, we look alive. Contour, I'm almost out of the shade I always use. So I like mix them. I still wanna do that trend where you take a mirror outside and get a picture. I tried doing it the other day when it was raining and I thought maybe it would look cool with like rain on the, the mirror, but like it just looked awful. So I need to do it once it's like sunny out. I wish I knew how to contour my nose better. I see people all the time using like a small little brush and just drawing like a line down, but when I do that, I make my nose look literally crooked and it looks like way worse than before. So, I just use this fluffy brush for everything. Okay, so next I use this Dollar Elf Eyebrow Gel. I've been using this for a long time. This makes your eyebrows look nice and defined. I actually really need to pluck mine bad. You can't see it from like all the way back here, but oh my gosh. Next, I'm going to use a little bit of this primer. Um, honestly, I feel like this does nothing. Sometimes I don't use primer because I don't do that much eyeshadow, so yeah, I don't know. So I feel like primer is kind of pointless. <laughs> okay, so we are using my little donut palette. It's squishy. I got this for Easter. Look how cute. I wish it was scented. It's not, but that would be so cute. It's from Ulta. Um, it's the brand Revolution. I don't really know what that is, but yeah, I just like the colors in it. So I'm just going to do like a tan on my lid. Okay, so once I have the skin color eyeshadow on, then I put a little bit of like a brown in the outer edge. And then I just take like a shimmery shade, put it in the inner corner. And then I also take a shimmery shade and put it like in the middle of my eyelid. I'm gonna use my finger it really packs it on so I just had some shimmer in the middle I do like this eyeshadow look all the time so now I'm just taking a highlight and putting it on the tip of my nose and a little bit up here to give like a, a skinny look and then I just put some highlight on my cheeks because we want to be glowing in this quarantine. And then I just curl the crap out of my eyelashes. So if I am doing like hardly, if I'm doing no makeup, I will curl my eyelashes just because they stay curled when you curl them. And then it kind of looks like you have mascara on a little bit, but you don't. Because my eyelashes go like straight down. So when I curl them, I think it looks so much better. And this is a Sally Hansen's eyelash curler. I've had it for like, for like 10 years, I feel like. I've had it so long, but I think it still works really good. I do switch out these padded things though in there. And once I have my lashes curled, I just use the Rocket by Maybelline. And I've tested out so many mascaras and I, I still think this one is my favorite, I think. Because the mascara is more dry, it keeps your lashes curled and it's just easier to put on rather than like a more wet mascara. I think it might be dry because it's like waterproof, but I just think it looks so much better. Okay, so I got my mascara on and now what I'm going to do is add some of this CoverGirl eyeliner to my waterline. I usually do this on top and bottom, but I feel like you honestly can't tell. If I'm wearing fake eyelashes, I'll put it on my top, just so like you really can't tell that the lashes are fake. Okay, so now that my face is done, sometimes I just leave my hair in a ponytail, and I probably will, but I'm going to take down some front pieces and just add like a little curl to it, because I don't like my hair like completely pulled back. I'm going to be using this curling iron. This is the one I always use. I love it. It is just the Numi, like, one-inch curling iron. So while my curling iron is heating up, I'm just going to put on some clear lip gloss. Just gives a little shine, and I love lip gloss. I feel so much better with lip gloss or even just chapstick on. Um, this is just the Pillow Plump. It's from Target. 
So, it plumps your lips a little bit, but like barely. And I'm just gonna curl these front pieces a little bit. And brush it out a little bit. And there we go. I think it looks super cute and just like lazy and cozy, but cute, you know? You could also add a few curls in your ponytail as well, but I don't got time for that. The ponytail is in the back. No one sees the back. <laughs> so if you're watching this video, I want you guys to get up out of bed and go get ready. Rather, if that's some mascara, if it's just curling your lashes, putting on a little powder, just washing your face and moisturizing, putting on some lip balm, you know, whatever it is. Get up, change out of your clothes brush your hair, freshen up a little bit, and you will feel so much better. And hopefully we are not in quarantine too much longer because trust me, I'm going crazy as well. I am literally going cray cray. And when you get ready, send me a pic on Instagram, okay? Because I wanna see how beautiful you all are. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, click my notification bell. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.